kitchen in quarantine. These days are pretty challenging times, especially because the grocery stores are so wiped out. There's been a little bit of panic buying, especially on the flour. So today I wanted to show you how to make a lovely comforting pancake without having to have any flour. So because of that I'm going to use oats instead. I'm going to grind them up in the blender. But so these are going to be gluten-free, and they're also going to be eggless because I'm going to use chia seeds. These are chia seeds. They're incredibly healthy, nutritious seeds that have omegas. They've got protein and fiber and all kinds of wonderful, healthy things. A lot of people buy these and put them on their cereal or they put them in smoothies. We're just going to put them into this waffle. So I've got a couple tablespoons here that I'm just going to stir into some almond milk, which is my default. You can use whatever non-dairy milk you want to use. And then we'll just let those stand for a minute. So those are doing their thing. And then I'm going to finish up this oat flour. Now what I did was I just put a cup of rolled oats. I always buy the thick, old-fashioned kind. And I put them in my blender and just pulsed it a few times. I didn't think you wanted to listen to me do that on camera for a long time. So I'm just going to do a quick blend here. So this has now become flour. And it's not tricky. You just grind it till it looks like flour. And that's all you need to do. And then to this, I'm going to add, I've got some baking powder and salt. And then I'm going to wait until this is sort of thickened up a little bit to add the rest of the ingredients to that. But I'll give it a little pulse again just to mix. So if you don't have a Vitamix, you can use a food processor or a food chopper. I mean, oats are already soft. Now there is a grain mill uh, bin or let's see, a grain mill container that you can buy from Vitamix. It's just for grinding grains and nuts and coffee and things like that. And if you're going to do, say, wheat, that's got a much harder bran layer on it. So you do really need to have spend some time grinding it and, you know, really have the high impact and especially designed for that. But with this oats, you can grind them in anything. They're really quite soft. So while I've been talking, these chia seeds have been soaking up the milk and getting kind of plump and thick. So I'm going to go ahead and put those into the blender with the oat flour and make sure they're so sticky. There will be a few down at the bottom. They want to stay in there and make a little mat of goodness. So then I'm going to add, oh, I was supposed to add the lemon juice earlier. Oh well. And then some avocado oil and some mashed banana. You see this is nice and ripe because you know, I'm not going to let my banana go to waste. Let my bananas set there, get nice and squishy. And then I'm putting in a little bit of vanilla, about half a teaspoon. And then I'm putting in a tablespoon of maple syrup. And that's just a little jot, as it were, and just enough. You can also have these be quite savory, though. It's actually in a pinch here in our world of not having quite enough of things. You can use these as a bread. You know, you can serve these as a savory thing. So they don't have to be a sweet dish. So now I've got a half a cup of oats that I'm going to put in there. And I'm just going to pulse this to mix it. Keep it on low. And then I'll 
get down in there and make sure everything's getting mixed in because that's important that we don't leave anything down in the bottom. So one more little mix. And there you have it. We now have waffle batter. Now in an ideal world, I would give this 10 minutes just to sit and for everything to kind of soak. But I'm good with this. I'll just talk a little bit more and then we'll get right to it. But I've got my waffle maker heating up. Now the one that I've got has a little light that comes on when it's ready. And it, it goes for, these waffles are going to go for about two minutes each waffle. So it doesn't take long. And it's very, you know, depending on how much your family likes waffles, you can either have one of these single guys, it's just going to make one waffle, ooh, it's nice and hot, or you can get one that has multiple waffles, it's up to you. I find that uh, it's fine for us if you want to put the oven on low, you can hold the waffles in the oven as they get done. So another thing to remember about all this is that, you know, eating these wonderful whole grains is really going to help support your health. And especially in these times of stress and times of uncertainty, you know, we really want to feed ourselves as well as possible. So although this feels like fun food, and it really is fun and delicious, it is good for you food as well. So we don't want to fall into eating junk food because we're trying to comfort ourselves through this tough time. So I've got my batter that's made of just pure whole grain oats. I've got my chia seeds in there, giving it all kinds of healthy, healthy stuff. You know, a little oil, a little bit of maple. And then my topping for these guys, to keep it in the spirit of pantry cooking, are those canned mandarin oranges. So you can buy cans of these, have them on hand, or you can serve this with whatever your favorite fruit, canned peaches, canned pears, frozen fruit, is very safe as well if you're avoiding, you know, some people I know are avoiding fresh fruit because it may, you know, or you don't want to necessarily have to wash it too seriously because that does kind of wreck something like a raspberry to be trying to sanitize it fully. So in a lot of ways, I like to take something like this just, and it's so easy, right? All I did was drain these, they're ready to go. So my batter has stood for a couple of minutes and now I'm going to do super, super simple. So there it is. Nice thick batter. That's how it's supposed to look. And I'm going to open up my waffle maker, brush it with some oil. If you've got spray oil, that works too. Then I take my half cup measure and it's going to be kind of a heaping cup per waffle. and then just shut that baby down. It'll press it. The light turns red again, so now I'm gonna wait for the light to turn green. So while that's cooking, we can stand here and chit chat. I hope you're getting through. I hope things are going well. I hope you're enjoying staying home, and I hope that it all comes to an end soon. But the main thing, again, that I can talk to you about is how to eat well during all this. Now this batter can also be used to make pancakes. So if you don't have a waffle maker, you can certainly switch modes and go over and make this into pancakes just right on the stove top. The thing about whole grains and why you want to eat whole grains is that all of the nutrition that's in a whole grain is really essential to your health. Something like these oats, they have something unique, as you probably have seen, you know, that oat cereals can have a claim that they lower cholesterol. And the truth is, there's a special starch in oats called beta-glucans. That is a special starch that goes into your system, absorbs the cholesterol out of your body, and then whisks it away. So while you're enjoying your waffles, 
you're actually reducing your cholesterol and you don't have to take any kind of weird medicine. The other thing about them is that they have other healthy fibers, other healthy things. There's a minute amount of very healthy fat in oats, but mainly we just when you taste oats, you have probably childhood memories whether it's eating oatmeal or eating Cheerios or eating oatmeal cookies. They have a wonderful way of reminding us of nostalgic moments and being very comforting. So I love it that I can make a waffle with these fabulous oats and not have to run to the store or drive from store to store. And they're just so good that you're going to want to make them anyway, even though you get flour when all this is over with. So I'm just going to let those guys cook a little bit longer. Now I like to put pure maple syrup, obviously, on my waffles. But if you want to, it's very, very easy to just get your frozen fruit, drop it into a pan, just frozen, straight frozen, drizzle in a little maple syrup or add some sugar, and just bring it to a boil and cook it until it becomes thick enough to use as a syrup. Now for a whole package of, fro say, frozen raspberries, I might put in up to half a cup of organic sugar. And that would be fine for making something very much like a fruit syrup. So here it's turned green. So let's see how our waffle is. See if it'll, oh, came right off. Yay! So here we go. Oh my gosh, look at this waffle. Look at the steam coming off of that. Crispy, delicious. Just gonna put this guy here little bit of butter. Now this I'm using the Miyoko's vegan butter because it's the tastiest one. And then a little drizzle of maple syrup and a few oranges. And I've got my vitamin C. I've got my beautiful oats, and I've got a waffle, which is going to make me happy. So please, feed yourself well, take care of yourself, and enjoy a tasty, toasty oat waffle. The recipe for this one is up on my website, robinasbell.com, and you can also click the like channel, like on my channel, so that you can help me keep doing more of these. Thanks.